Hey everyone, welcome back to Six Sister Stuff. Now because life gets pretty crazy, today I'm sharing with you nine 30 minute meals to hopefully make your life just a little bit easier. So my name is Kristen Hills and every Sunday my sisters and I, we love sharing simple, easy recipes so you can get dinner on the table. So I'm just gonna be honest with you for a minute. I do not love making dinner. It's not my favorite thing to do. Usually 4.30 hits, I'm running frantic and I don't know what we're gonna have. Now I love having some ideas on 30 minute meals so when I'm in a crunch, I can just kind of throw some stuff together. So hopefully these recipes are helpful for you. If you want more recipes like this, make sure you comment down below to let me know. Yes, we loved the 30 minute meals. All right you guys, if you're ready, let's get cooking. So the first recipe is our easy 20 minute skillet lasagna. Now if you know me, I usually cook my pasta in the Instant Pot, but I'm gonna follow the directions just so you can see how to do it here. So I cook my pasta for about seven minutes, pull it off, drain it, and then you're gonna set that aside. Oh, of course, add a little olive oil on top. Then you're gonna add a little olive oil in your skillet. You're gonna go ahead and put one pound of ground beef in there. I, You can use a wooden spoon. I also like to use something called a chopster, but I couldn't find it today. Now, if you're gonna drain your grease, do this before adding your sauce. So we're gonna add 26 ounces of pasta sauce, mix that all together. Then we're gonna add some seasonings. We have one teaspoon of salt, a half teaspoon of garlic powder, and one teaspoon of Italian seasoning. Then I added a half cup of mozzarella cheese and a half cup of sour cream. Now it's time to add the pasta. I just dump it into my sauce, mix it all around, and it makes everything taste amazing. Now once it's all mixed together, you can add just a little bit of mozzarella cheese on top and serve it just like that. The next recipe is our Instant Pot 7 can tortilla soup. You can also make this in the slow cooker if you need to. So I have one can of beans, one can of pinto beans, we have two cans of diced tomatoes, then one can of enchilada sauce. I like to use green enchilada sauce. One can of corn, and then one can of chicken. Now, if you don't like canned chicken, you can use a rotisserie chicken or just pre-cooked chicken. Okay, I have one package of taco seasoning, then one teaspoon of cumin, one teaspoon of chili powder, one teaspoon of garlic powder, and a fourth teaspoon of black pepper. Now the last thing we're gonna add is just one can of chicken broth. Just dump that all in. So you can mix it just a little bit, but you don't have to if you don't want it. So you're gonna put the lid on, make sure that little knob is turned to sealing, not venting, sealing, there we go. You're gonna push the pressure cook or manual button depending on your Instant Pot, and we're going down to just four minutes. When it's done, you're gonna go ahead and release the pressure. When all the pressure's out, you can lift open your lid, and this is your soup. It literally took about 20 minutes start to finish. Go ahead and add your favorite toppings. I like avocado, sour cream, and a little bit of chips. Philly cheesesteak sloppy joes is next up. So heat your skillet over medium high heat and add one pound of your ground beef. Now you can have ground turkey if you don't like ground beef, but I like ground beef in this recipe. You can drain your grease when you're done. Next you're gonna add one onion and one green pepper, and then go ahead and mix that in. We're gonna cook those up till they're tender. Also, I added one cup of sliced mushrooms. Now, obviously I needed just a little bit bigger of a skillet, but it, the mushrooms will cook down and it will fit. Now for the good stuff, we're gonna add a fourth cup of steak sauce and one cup of beef stock. You can use chicken stock if you don't have any. Then we're gonna add just a little bit salt and pepper to taste. Go ahead and mix that all together. Let it simmer for a few minutes and then we'll get our buns ready. So I like to put my cheese on my bun and broil them just for a minute. I mean, who doesn't love melty cheese on their sloppy joes, right? So then you're gonna add on your meat onto your sloppy joe and that literally is it. Oh, if, of course, if you wanna add a little bit more A1, you can do that. This is one of my favorites and one of my husband's favorites. Now we have Instant Pot Cheesy Beef Taco Pasta. That's kind of a mouthful, but it's delicious. So you're gonna push the saute button, put in a little olive oil. When it's all nice and hot, you're gonna add one pound of ground beef. And on top of that, just one onion chopped up. You're going to mix that all together while it cooks. We want to cook this until it's nice and cooked through, well, at least almost cooked through. Then we're gonna add one packet of taco seasoning and then one pound of rotini, or however you say it, pasta. On top of that is 16 ounces of your favorite salsa. And then we have four ounces of 
diced green chilies. Now you can use canned chilies or you can even dice up your own. And then we have four cups of low sodium chicken broth. Now as you mix this in, you just wanna make sure all the pasta is touching some sort of liquid so it will cook nice and tender. So go ahead and put your lid on, make that little knob turn to sealing, not venting. Then you're gonna push pressure cook or the manual button and we're gonna to go to about five minutes or so. When it's done, go ahead and release the pressure, open that up and you are cooked and ready to go. Now I'm gonna add a little bit of Mexican cheese on top and just mix that all in. Now I wanted to add a little bit of salt and pepper for an extra seasoning you can do that um, before also so it's not all in one chunk but mix it really good if you're doing salt and pepper at the end and yes add a little more cheese on top you're ready to go next is chicken bacon alfredo french bed pizza so go ahead and preheat your oven to 400 degrees and you're gonna cut your french bread lengthwise now this is small french bread if you have the big thick french bread that works great too now you're gonna sprinkle just a little bit of garlic salt and a little bit of Italian seasoning onto each loaf. Then you're just gonna add about four cups of mozzarella cheese, so about two cups on each loaf. Next, you're gonna take two cups of shredded rotisserie chicken, put it on. I have two Roma tomatoes diced that I'm putting on, about, I don't know, four to five green onions you can put on there. And this is my favorite, one package of bacon bits, go ahead and sprinkle that on. Then you're gonna put a little bit of Parmesan cheese, about half a cup or so on top. Now these are cheesy, bacon, and delicious. You're gonna bake them at 400 degrees for about 10 minutes or so. Now when it's done, you go ahead and slice them up. You can add your green onions here or earlier, it doesn't matter, and go ahead and take a bite. Up next is teriyaki beef skillet. Now you're gonna add about one pound of ground beef into the bottom of your skillet. So it's about medium high heat, and you're gonna cook it for about, oh, four to five minutes. Next, you're gonna add one onion. Go ahead and mix that in and about two cloves of garlic. So we're gonna mix that into, go ahead and cook everything until your onions are soft and your meat is no longer pink. Next, we're gonna add a fourth teaspoon of ground ginger and a half teaspoon of crushed red pepper. This just gives it a little bit of flavor. Then we're gonna add one cup of your favorite teriyaki sauce. I love teriyaki sauce. And go ahead and mix it all together. Now when it's all done cooking, go ahead and serve that over rice. I like to add a little bit of green onions on top just for a little bit of flavor. All right, I'm gonna call this meatball lasagna roll-ups just to make it easier for you. Okay, go ahead and preheat your oven to 350 degrees. Okay, now in this bowl I have eight ounces of light cream cheese, one and a fourth cups of shredded mozzarella, and a half cup of cottage cheese. We're gonna mix it together really well. Go ahead and grab either a cookie sheet or a pan. You're gonna put a little bit of sauce down just so your noodles have something to cook in. Mm-hmm. Now I went ahead and pre-cooked some lasagna noodles. You only need a few, so I cooked them. And now we're gonna put on some of the yummy filling. You're gonna add two cooked meatballs onto the roll up and go ahead and just roll them up very gently. Then you're gonna place them into your pan. Now I made seven roll ups because my husband will eat two and the rest of us will just eat one. <laughs> then you're gonna add the rest of your sauce on top of your roll ups. If you have any extra filling, you can go ahead and just do a little dab on top of each of those or you can add just some mozzarella cheese if you want to. Go ahead and cover it with foil and we're going to cook this for 20 minutes in your oven. Now when it's all the way done, you can go ahead and top it with some fresh basil or you can just eat it just like that. Next one is our mom's chicken and cream cheese roll-ups. Now we have these all the time growing up. Now you wanna shred four chicken breasts or rotisserie chicken, whatever is easiest for you. Then we're gonna take one eight ounce package of cream cheese that's a little bit softened so it will break up a little bit easier. Next, you're gonna add four ounce can of mushrooms and then just a little bit of onion. So I have about two tablespoons of onion and mix that all together. Next, you're gonna take two packages of crescent roll dough. You're gonna scoop on about a spoonful or more, depending on what you like. Then you're gonna pull in the corners and then roll it up. Super simple and super easy. Now you have your oven preheated to 350 degrees and you're just gonna roll these up and just line them up in a cookie sheet or another pan, whatever works best for you. Now you're gonna cook these for about 12 to 14 minutes until they're golden brown. Now you have enough of the filling that you can make 16 of these. Now you just add your favorite gravy on top and you're good to go. The next one is our 20 minute taco cups. These are super simple. So you're gonna take six tortillas or eight tortillas or however many people are in your family. 
and then you're gonna take a tortilla, put it in a cup, you're gonna add some rotisserie chicken, I love using rotisserie chicken, a little bit of black beans, some taco seasoning, a little bit of corn, a little bit of cheese, kind of whatever your favorite toppings are for tacos, you can add to this. Now you can bake it at 350 degrees for about 10 minutes or so. Once it's done cooking, I like to add some lettuce, some guacamole, and just all my favorite toppings. Hopefully these were helpful for you. Now if you want more easy, simple recipes, you can find them just right up there. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.